pi is arguably the most famous number in math. It is the ratio of a circle's circumference and diameter. It is irrational and it has infinite decimal places without any patterns. Though computers have come a long way in calculating its value to a very high number of digits, it's not even close to the true value. But out of the trillions of digits we found, how many digits are required by you? Pi is often taken as 22 by 7 by students and though it is pretty accurate, for most people 3.14 is just fine. Like most students doing their homework often take it 3 anyway, so what's the big deal? Well, it can become a problem for people who might prefer a little bit more precision. Take for example an engineer designing an engine. The piston of an engine works at extremely high pressures and temperatures at hundreds of RPMs. If the cylinder is even a millimeter smaller than it should be, it could cause damage to the engine or create unpleasant noise due to friction. So, so engineers making high precision tools might want to use more digits of pi than 3.14. But apparently, rounding it to 3 to 4 digits works just fine for them. Rounding it to 5 digits causes a change of less than 1 one hundredth of a millimeter, which according to engineers is good enough. Also, as the measurement becomes more and more precise, the cost rises rapidly. So using more than 4 digits and demanding further precision would drastically increase cost. Then come scientists. Scientists hate money. When they want to do an experiment, they want the highest level machinery and accuracy no matter what the cost. Let's talk about NASA. NASA claims to use only 15 digits of pi, which seems fair. If you have a circle with the radius of the solar system and you calculate its circumference using 15 digits of pi and 16 digits of pi, you get a difference of a few millimeters. That is indeed insignificant. In 2017, a group of scientists made the world's roundest object, a silicon sphere weighing exactly 1 kilogram, used to fix the Avogadro's constant. This will be done by calculating the number of atoms present in it. This required the sphere to be very round and the material to be extremely regular in its crystalline structure. It also requires to know the volume of the sphere with utmost accuracy. The differences in volume cannot be more than a few hundred cubic nanometers. Using 20 digits of pi compared to 21 digits of pi, the difference in volume came out to be 50 cubic nanometers, which is certainly good enough for the researchers to fix the value of Avogadro's constant till 8 decimal places. All of this reveals that even the most stubborn scientists would not need any more than say 25 digits of pi to do anything and chances are you'll never need more than 3.142. So, so don't, don't bother learning thousands of digits of pi or make computers compute trillions of digits because it is simply not necessary.